Hi everyone and welcome to this video from Excel Tips. In this video, you will see how to count the number of cells that contain values in a range, that is, count cells between two values. For this, we will be using the count if as function. The count if as is a versatile function and among other things, what it can do is it can count cells that are between two numbers and it can do it in multiple ways. You can, you can use it to exclude both the boundary numbers. You can include the lower number but exclude the higher, uh, the upper number and you can include the higher number and exclude the lower number. So let us jump right into it and see how you can implement this simple function. So here I have the list of scores by player one from the year 2009 to 2019 and what I want to do is first I want to find out the scores which are greater than 50 but lesser than 60. So the first condition that we want to find out is the scores which do not include 50 and also do not include 60. So the boundary conditions will not be considered. So 50 and 60 will not be considered. So let me change this to say 50 and it should not take this into account. So let us write the simple formula here. So we will start by writing the count if s function or formula as some people call it. And the first thing that it wants me to do is it wants me to provide the range. The range here is this from C3 to C13 which is where my values are. Then I put in the comma which then asks me for the criteria which I wanted to count against. So the criteria is always given by double quotes and I want it as greater than 50. And I close the quotes here. Then I also have the second criteria. I want it. I do not want anything which is above 60. So I will say again comma it asks me for my the criteria range 2 I will again give the same criteria or the same range comma and I will say I do not want give me everything which is lesser than 60 and again that lesser than 60 will be in quotes and now I will just go ahead and close this and hit enter and it gives me 2 it returns a value of 2. So let us see how many we have. So we have 1, 2 and those are the 2. So as you can see it has not taken the 50 or the 60 in account. It has just taken these two values. And also this function is dynamic. So if any of the value changes here, say for example this becomes 51, it will automatically update. Now using the same formula but with a very small change you can have multiple variations of it. For example if I wanted to have a score greater than 50 but lesser than equal to 60 that means I don't want the 50 but I want to include the 60 in the count you can have a formula which is very similar to above but instead of giving the greater than the lesser than 60 you will say you will put an equal sign here. So this will now consider 60 as well. If there is a 60, let's say for example I change this to 60, I should see that increase by 1 and as you can see it is increased by 1. And similarly if you want greater than or equal to 50, you will put a greater than and equal to sign like this here. One thing to note here is that the equal sign is always placed to the right of the greater than or the lesser than sign. For example, if you do it like this, it will not work. So keep this in mind. This is again a tip. So keep this in mind. Always remember to keep the equal sign, uh, equal, equal to sign or to the right of your greater than or lesser than sign. Similarly, here as you can see that I have given it here. So this 
is how you can use the count if s to get the values between a range so hope you have enjoyed this video on how to count cells between two values if you did find this video useful do hit the like button thank you and have a wonderful day